Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to animate your views using the Value Animator class. The Value Animator is a timing engine that calculates the change between one value to another over time. We can use this change of value to modify our view's position and other values to create animations. To begin, create a new project. In the main activities layout file, make sure that the root is a constraint layout. Then add a button and add the constraints to center it on the screen. Go to the main activity file and declare a value animator. In the onCreate method, grab the value animator object and use the offInt method from value animator to create the object. Inside the parentheses, pass in the starting value for the engine and then use a comma to add the ending value. When the engine starts, it will start from 0 and gradually increase to 100. To set the duration, grab the value animator object and call set duration. It accepts the duration in milliseconds. We'll use 2000 to represent 2 seconds. For the next part, we need to add a listener to the animation object to listen for the changes. This way, we'll be able to modify the button position over time. Grab the value animator, call add updated listener, and pass in a new animator updated listener. To get the value of the changes, take the animation object and call get animated value. Then store it in an integer variable. It is an integer because we use the offInt method when we created the value animator object. We can see the other methods we can use if we take the value animator class, put a period at the end of it, and type off. Now that the animator object is completed, create a reference to the button in the layout. To begin moving the button, go to the animation update callback. Grab the button, call set transition x, and pass in the value from the engine. This will move the button in the x-axis from left to right because our engine will start from 0 and end at 100. To start the animation, attach a click listener to the button. Grab the value animator object and call start. If we run the app, and click on the button, it'll move the button. For more complex animations, we can pass in multiple values in the creator methods. Replace the values with this set of numbers. This will create a simple shake animation. Run the app and click on the button. You can see that the value animator engine can be really powerful. Not only that it can change the value of one property, it can change the value of multiple properties at once. If we run the app and click on the button now, it will change the position and width.
Now let's take a look at interpolators. If we look at the documentation for value animator, we can see the default interpolation it uses. With this interpolator, the values will gradually change and increase over time. Then it will slowly decrease as it approaches the end. Other types of interpolator can be found in the official interpolator documentation. If we click on the bounce interpolator, it says that the change bounces at the end. Let's see how we can apply this interpolator and change the behavior of the animation. In the onCreate method, right after we set the duration, grab the value animator object. Call set interpolator and pass in a bounce interpolator object. Run the app and click on the button to see the change. That's all for this video. If you find this helpful, give it a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. See you in the next video.